everybody. Hey, so this video, we're making it for all of you AK-47 users and AK pistol variant users that may have a drum magazine and may have problems loading it. Hey, you might have bought one for the first time and not even know how to load it. Well, let's just say that we forgot how to load this. We used this before and it's been a while, so we had to kind of refigure it out. But anyway, uh, this video is for you guys uh, just to show you a couple of things that you may be doing wrong with these things and uh, kind of just let the uh, let the cat out of the bag in the situation because uh, there's a lot of people that think these are a lot more complicated than they are. So anyway, you want to come in a little bit closer, we'll go ahead and show you how this works. <clears throat> so first of all, uh, you're going to want to get this thing open. And it's very simple. There's two clips right here. It's open. Anyway, you're going to want to look at this view. Now, this is the follower. You're going to want to make sure that this is in the totally backward position. This button right here relieves tension on this whole... There's a clock spring in here. This button relieves tension on the whole thing. and also allows me to move this around. So you don't want to move it that way. You want to move it this way. Now, it's naturally going to come to a stop right here. And as you can see, I don't know if you can get in there, you can see the actual channels of where the bullets are going to ride. Way down in there. It's hard to see, but there's three levels. So essentially, this is at the, the last level. It's almost like a spiral. It's going to end up pushing out, push all those rounds up into here. So next, what we need to do is find our ammunition. And it looks like we don't have any in here. That's okay. We'll just have to make sure <clears throat> we get our Giant Eagle light non-fat vanilla flavored yogurt. Make sure you get the one that says 7.62 by 39 on it, because that's what you'll need. Anyway, I'll try and do this as quickly as possible, and we'll show you exactly how to load this thing. Yeah. So, you're going to notice that there's these little holes, that these get one. These are not just holes for decoration, these get a bullet. All these other groups, thank you get six and just kind of throw them in there and we'll continue loading this thing up this is like I said a 75 round drum so 75 round capacity there's a quicker way to do this. Hell, I'm sure there's auto loading. There's tools to help you load these things. Gotta be. I haven't seen them myself, but I'm sure they're out there. There's one thing that gun owners don't like doing is sitting there having to reload magazines and stuff over and over again. And the key thing Anyway, the key thing is, where the follower is, you're only gonna be able to fit four in, but that's okay. And just for the sake of this, I'm actually not gonna fill this one up all the way. So, anyway, we're gonna just give a little bit of preload and shut the case. Now, I've already pushed everything, got it started, but now we need to put spring tension in there. So what you do is turn this key four times. So essentially, I'm gonna kinda line up and try and just do eight half turns. That's one. So that's one full turn, two half turns. Two full turns. three full turns. All right, four full turns. There you go. That's it. That's all you do. And just to show you that it actually does have spring tension. So, they'll all come out. Anyway, and when you need to 
disassemble this thing, <clears throat> all you're going to do, open that up again. Say you need to load more, you probably are going to want to uh, release the tension on this spring. Or if you're going to stop using it or put it away or something like that. And the way to do that, I'm only using this because I don't want to hurt myself. Press down on this, which is actually really difficult to do. <laughs> Press down on that, that relieved all the tension, and now this will move freely. Well, it's not going to move freely because it held all these bullets in it. But anyway, that's all you really need to do. And the problem is, a lot of guys may not understand that that follower needs to be pretty much in this spot uh, when you're going to go to load. Now, also, I'm actually going to take a couple of these out and show you the problem that we actually had with ours. We thought it was broken. We thought there was something terribly wrong. And there actually wasn't. So anyway, right here... <clears throat> actually, you know what? Let me take these out. Let me take these out. So, if you look right here... Right here. This part, unfortunately, was actually bent too far this way. And as a result, in this first section, when you put six bullets in here, what was actually happening was this was running straight into this bullet case, and it was not allowing this to turn. As you can see, all we did was bend this this way, just a hair, just so it allows it to pass in between the, these bullets and allow that row to continue feeding up in there. Well, at the time, it wasn't doing that because it was bent too much and it was just running straight into the case. And that was causing a big problem because it was also causing our follower to not end up where we needed it to be. So once we kind of figured that out, all we did was bend it and then just made sure we unwound the follower to where it needed to be in its um, position over here, which when you load it, this follower will always want to be right here. You always have a group of four that's right after the actual top of the magazine and that's how you want to load it so always remember check and see what is actually happening in this thing because you don't want to just start pushing things and bashing things around because you probably who knows how that thing got bent but anyway that's how ours got bent so just wanted to give you a uh, little overview of how to do this once again uh, it's not difficult but hey you know that like we ran into a problem with this thing we've had no clue what it was. We just were using it one day. It wasn't working. Um, anyway, that's really it. Just wanted to go over that. I mean, I'm sure there's other things that can happen with these. Just keep your eyes peeled uh, when you're dealing with issues. And yeah, I mean, if you run into an issue similar to what we were running into, where it's just not allowing you to turn that um, clocking mechanism, might be that something's bent in there. It's preventing it from doing so. So anyway, that's it. Hey, if you like watching stuff like this and you want to see actual gun reviews, uh, more information about certain guns, or you have any questions about any of the reviews we did, uh, products we've looked at, or what we did today, feel free to comment. And if you like this kind of stuff, also please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Hey, appreciate it. Have a nice day.